This is retail money flying back into this, hoping for a, a buy and dip opportunity. You could say people are a bit of gluttons for punishment there. I mean, like, it's, we really saw this, this ETF get absolutely hammered last yeah. week. Um, you know, as you pointed out, lost 80% of its value in just one day. And now it seems that people are, are pushing money back into these funds. We don't know exactly where this money's coming from. It could be retail. Okay. Certainly there's a lot of chatter uh, in various kind of investing forums about XIV, but uh, rather about SOV, XY, post XIV. Um, so we'll see whether some of the money's coming from there. It could be from hedge funds that just kind of like want an easy way to sort of bet on a rebound. Well, if buying on dips go, this is one heck of a dip. It's, it's a heck of a dip, say. exactly as you say. And maybe it's part of thinking that, you know, lightning doesn't strike twice uh, in the same place. So. It's the safe place to be now. Right. Well, I mean, I wrote a story, I think, this time last week where we sort of talked about how short vol trades were dead. Well, suddenly they're back again. And I think that, that sort of really is a good sort of indication of kind of where the, the sentiment in the market is right now. You know, we've seen one day where you know, stocks have been, well, I guess two days now where stocks are kind of come creeping back up. You know, volatility seems to have settled and people are starting to think, well, oh, maybe, maybe the worst is over. Perhaps now is a good time to, to put this trade back on again. So this is a chart here on the Bloomberg. I'm looking at GHBTV 927 that shows the inflows into SVXY, which of course bets against the VIX. Um, my question to you, and I know we've discussed this in the past, but I'd just like you to, to explain again. Why is SVXY still alive after XIV mm. imploded and uh, the, the Japanese listed ETF that also bet against volatility disappeared? Right, so I think here the, the key difference is between exchange traded notes and exchange traded funds. Uh, so XIV was an exchange traded note. So that means it's basically a debt obligation from its issuer, which in this case was Credit Suisse, and they have the rights within the terms of the prospectus to accelerate in the event that we see a massive move in volatility. Now, SVXY is an exchange trade of fund. That means that it has a, a far different a mechanism when it comes to wrapping things up. Typically, what happens is that a board of a fund will decide when it liquidates, and that will then be kind of how something is, is brought to its close. But in this case, um, you know, they very clearly from quite early on said that SVXY was going to keep trading, maybe because it is going to benefit from these inflows. And what about the long volatility ETFs? Because we yes. talk about um, <laughs> the short volatility ETFs. They've blown up very fast. But the long volatility ETFs have been a slow motion train wreck that are arguably much worse if you've been going, the long exposure is down over 99% since it's Particularly inception. if you are leveraged, right? Like two times. Well, then you're really uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, this is the really interesting thing when it comes to ETFs that have futures and derivatives at, at their base, right? I mean, when you look at kind of a futures-based ETF, you're, you're accepting the roll cost of, of that future within into your returns. So that means if you're paying more to roll over your futures every month, that is coming out of your performance. And gradually over time, that makes a significant difference. That really eats into the returns. So even if something was actually returning um, you know, a, a, good, a good amount on a daily basis, when you actually look at it over a monthly basis, that return could be completely destroyed.